Hey guys. Uh, so uh, a few weeks ago, uh, I really needed a new wallet, uh, and I typically carry a you know clamshell type that opens up and then has a um, uh, an ID slot on the front and a money clip on the other side, and then you can throw some cards in. Carry eight to ten cards, generally speaking. Um, I pared that way down, by the way, but uh, I had. Um, um, I bought a uh, uh, one, and it ended up, I really liked it at first, and then there were a couple of limitations that I ended up wanting to uh, to address, so I, I bought a different one. And I haven't really seen too many comparisons of these two specific ones. Um, so one of my criteria was I wanted a notebook integrated in with a pen, uh, I could carry separate ones, and I just thought, you know. So what I was looking at were these different ones, they're, um, um, I'm watching the dog over here going nuts, rolling in the grass and stuff. Um, there's, um, um, uh, they're kind of minimalist, they're called, um, and somewhat tactical, I guess you'd say. And anyway, there were two. So the first one I bought was a Travex Summit Notebook Bundle. It has a Fisher bullet space pen in it and a little small. Uh, and I'll sh obviously, I'm going to redirect here in a minute and show them both to you. Ended up being a little too small. So then I looked at and found uh, one from Dango, um, and it's a Pioneer P01, and it came with a pen um, and a notebook, and I bought a couple extra notebooks with it for it. Anyway, um, you'll see the differences in them. Uh, I like both of them a lot. I really liked the Trivax tri at first. I really liked it, but it just ended up being too small. Uh, and once I actually started using it, I. At work, I'm in meetings a lot, and then I'm also in, um, uh, I, you know, people stop me, eh, uh, this doesn't work, that doesn't work, can you do something about this, can you do something about that? Yeah, okay, got to write it down, because if I don't, I'll forget it. Um, so, you know, because it'll happen by the time I walk one floor down and to the other side of the building, uh, I've had four people stop me and ask me to do stuff. So, um, you know, that's just how it works. So that's why this all came about, if I had to, change the notebook or the wallet anyway, why not get some of the notebooks? I don't have to constantly carry a notebook. I've always got one on me. I don't have to worry about it. I forgot to stick it in my pocket, whatever. So that's what this is. I'm going to redirect in a second here. You'll see, and I'll, and I'll, and I'll show them both to you. You're basically just going to see my hands in the wallets. So I wanted to do the upfront first here, and then I'll redirect in a second here, and then you'll, you'll see it. Hang on. So here's the Trivex, uh, smaller one. So, got your notebook on this side. Uh, you can throw cash, cash goes in here. I didn't even put any cash in either of these. Uh, none of these uh, cards are real or anything. Uh, most of them are expired ones I just grabbed. And then here's your your space pen on the side here. It's got a little pocket for it. It's got a little slot in here for it. Uh, I like this design. I really liked it. What I found was that the the notebook is a little um, doesn't stay in very well. Has a tendency to pop out. Um, slides out really easily, uh, and it's just too small. I mean, I'm writing notes. I, I took I'll take up half the thing in a, in a couple of days. Uh, so I was like, huh. now you have your and you can. You see on the front here, so you put like an ID in here, you know, have the ID stuck in here. So you can push these out from the, the bottom and pull your cards out. Problem, again, was one of the things I didn't like was now you have to go through your cards or you got to sit there and, you know, it takes more time and it's not quite as easy as it could be. Um, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... So it, it works pretty well. It's, it's, I like it to a degree, uh, but it's uh, um, just kind of odd um, that it's the way it is. Metal piece here is what holds in, and there's like a strap. Um, so I, this isn't a full review or anything. I wanted to show the contrast between them because I haven't seen too many of these kinds of videos. So this is the tri the um, Dango. Um, so it's got a pen on the side and a substantially, I mean not substantially, but it's, it's almost twice the size, the notebook. So that right there, and then there were, there's a couple of other features that really make it stand out. 
it's more expensive by far. <laughs> I think this one was around $70, and this one's around $110, $20, something like that. Um, but the couple of things that make this one stand out, are you can see on the front here, um, what this is in here is a, a swipe card. I got to use it all day, I, constantly. The uh, data center and my office both have these, uh, and I'm in and out of both of them. So, I, you know, I had to use these. Uh, I have to use this a lot. So it's really easy. It pops right off the side here. Then if you can tell here, I've also underneath. So this is, that's under the silicon strap. And then there's a pocket on the front as well. And that has my ID in it. Um, makes it nice and, and easy. This side, um, and again, normally I would have, uh, I have a, I'd have my probably two credit cards in here that I use the most. Uh, but what I've done here is just, you know, got some to, um, some basic stuff so you, so you can tell. So now you've got, and then on this side and the front opposite the, the notepad is the silicon band um, for cash. Now it, it, it's okay, a clip is better that you can kind of lift up and slide in. This works, uh, it's, it's a little bit, um, and maybe it wears a little bit and it'll loosen up slightly, it'll be a little easier because the you know, bills have a tendency to, to stick on the, uh, and so when you're trying to shove them in there. But on this side, underneath that now, I've got cards. And then um, underneath, on this side, and I took it out temporarily, um, but I've got another card in there, and I'm going to try to pull that out. And then on this side, again, there's another pocket. So I got all those cards. So, I mean, I'll count them out here real quick. And I think you'd probably fit more if you really wanted to cram them in there. But one, two, three, four, five on that side. One, two, three, four, five. So there's 10. And then from the front, three more. So there's 13 cards. So it's got a lot more capacity than the other one had. Uh, and they're fairly easy to get out. Here's your, your pen. This, it's supposed to have a neat little um, uh, you know, lanyard that was made out of paracord to pull your pen out with. Uh, but it, um, uh, it doesn't um, uh, work real well. I, it didn't come with it because I bought this on eBay. Uh, it was like a customer return. Nothing wrong with it except for that, uh, I think. It had that off. I don't know if the guy kept it or what. Anyways, that fits in there. One of the minuses that I found really quickly so far, and I'm hoping it's just I got, I ordered another uh, uh, ink cartridge, but it, it's leaking uh, inside. So when you pull this out, I don't know if you can really see it on the sides there and stuff, but there's a little bit of ink on it. So I've got to constantly clean it off. I'm hoping it was just a defective, uh, but the, definitely the pad, notepad is much bigger. And I'll have to see if there's something else I can fit in here size-wise, maybe. Uh, they, they make these themselves, their CNC'd aluminum pen. Uh, it's nice, but unfortunately. So the main difference is size. I mean, much bigger. Uh, uh, not much bigger, but it's, it's, it's a good bit. Two, three inches taller uh, and a couple of inches wider. Well, yeah, it, it really is about an inch wider. The big thing is, though, that notebook I mean, maybe it's an inch by an inch bigger than the other one, but it makes a huge difference. It just seems so much bigger. I don't have the exact uh, measurements, but it just seems so much bigger. So I really liked this one much more. Uh, I, I found that the Travex was, Travax was just a little bit too small for what I wanted. I, the, the bullet pen, the, the Fisher Space Pen bullet pen, I like that more than I like the pen on this one. But the size of this one, it holds a lot more cards, uh, and it's just more easier to deal with and work with uh, per personally. So it comes in a natural, and I think that's all they, they have. Maybe they have a, a, a black, but uh, I wanted the, the more, a little bit more natural. The, the Travex, don't get me wrong, I really liked this wallet. It's, it's, it's more minimalist than this one, uh, and I wasn't necessarily looking for minimalist 100%. I just wanted it, and I looked... Uh, some other places, and I, I have seen I had seen a couple that I really kind of liked that had a, an even bigger notebook. It was bigger than this one. I wear cargo pants at work. Wallet goes in the bottom cargo pant on my right side. So hey, uh, perfect. You know, it, it worked fine for me. 
but uh, I, you know, I, it, a little bit bigger would have worked. Uh, but the only ones I found were sort of pre-made ones, and they wouldn't, they couldn't. Uh, and the, the one that I saw that I really liked didn't have any pockets on the front or the back. Uh, and this one's it's not really well; it has pockets, but it's also got this little slide-in thing, uh, and it, and this just works so much better. Um, so I, and I couldn't find anybody that was going to customize one for me for a for a reasonable price, so I had to go with these. But like I said, this one was, but I got it, I think it was about 80 bucks, 85 bucks or something on eBay, uh, used slightly, you know, and, it, and it's fine, who cares? I mean, it's a wallet. Uh, it's fairly decent, thick leather. It's really well stitched, so it's not coming apart or anything anytime soon. Um, same thing with the Travex, uh, and it's got the metal piece here. The other thing that the Dango, they make a little multi-tool thing that will slide into this back pocket. Um, and for now, I mean, I might consider at some point trying to trim down my, my cards a little, even a little bit more uh, and getting something a little bit, uh, and then actually using, getting that and, and putting it in there. But it's not, you know, it's neat. It's a neat idea. I don't think it's, it's anything that you would consider to be, uh, to have to be a, a must have type thing. But, um, you know, it's nice. I mean, I like them. I like both of them. Uh, and I think the, the, uh, that they're really nice, but uh, I, I would say for my purposes, the, um, uh, the Dango was the one that, that worked better. If you can get away with a minimalist, a little bit smaller, do it. Uh, there's nothing wrong with this. It's a great little wallet with a little notebook and a, a space pen. Hey, how can you go wrong? But I just wanted the one that was slightly bigger and, uh, at the end, and I decided to get this one. Uh, and that's what I'm sticking with. Uh, so, anyways, guys, thanks a lot. I just wanted to do this real quick because there, there's not. I, I've seen videos on this. I've seen videos on this, but I haven't seen too many videos. I don't even know if I saw any that actually compared the two of them. So, what you're looking at here is size is is the main idea here. So, the Dango is going to be a little bit bigger, hold more cards, uh, and has a bigger notebook. Uh, the Travex is a little bit smaller, doesn't hold as many cards, has a smaller notebook, and if you can get away with this and you want something minimalist, it's a nice wallet. It's really they're both excellent. Uh, I would recommend either one of these. For me personally, this is the one. All right. Thanks a lot, guys.